Hi, hi, and welcome to Strap Watch, Michael Knapp with Michael Knapp Leather. We're gonna be revisiting my most favorite watch in my personal collection today. My Rolex Milgauss with the Z Blue dial. I had just finished a uh, strap for this and I did a review on this watch a few months ago. Uh, it's one of the most popular videos I've done. So the, the video, I'll leave a link for that. You can watch that on the Rolex Milgauss. I went really in depth into the watch as well. We're not gonna do that since I've already reviewed the watch. You're gonna be seeing me hand make this new Shell Cordovan strap. And ironically, I just had a gentleman who left a comment just a few days ago on that episode saying that I should make a deep blue Shell Cordovan strap out of Horween Shell Cordovan for this watch. Well, unbeknownst to him, I had already started. This is not Horween Shell Cordovan. That's, Horween to me is the absolute top notch Rolls Royce best leather in the world, okay? Uh, other manufacturers, tanneries, do make Shell Cordovan. I think Horween is the best. They're out of Chicago. I have used and still have some uh, Italian Shell Cordovan. Uh, I think it's Roccardo, R-A-C-A-R-D-O. It's out of, uh, out of Italy, uh, Italian Shell Cordovan. This is Shiniki Haikaku, I believe it. I don't know how you pronounce it, I'll be honest. Shiniki Haikaku out of Japan. Uh, it's the first chip, they call it. And I'll go in more depth about what Shell Cordovan is, where it comes from, why it's so expensive in more detail in the video. But uh, I'll tell you what, I'm sold on this. Man, yeah, I, you know, you have Horween, this is right there. I'm telling you what, if you haven't worked with this or you haven't really seen it in person, it is amazing. It is top notch. It's, it's better than any of the Italians Shell Cordovan that I've used thus far. And they're all good. It's just, you know, this is, this is something. So it's a deep blue, which that guy recommended. White, well, cream, one, uh, 0 0.8 uh, cream tiger thread, hand saddle stitched. So you're going to be seeing me hand make this strap on today's episode. Uh, we'll go in a little bit more detail on the watch because it is my favorite watch. So stick around. After the intro, we're going to get right into it. Thank you so much for joining me today on Strap a Watch, and we're looking again at my favorite watch in my collection, my Rolex Z Blue Dial Milgauss or Milgauss. Uh, there's different ways people pronounce even the name of it, and and it is a very unique, different watch in the Rolex lineup. It's you know, it's uh, it was made for scientists. I went into depth on this uh, back in 1956 when it first debuted. And um, yes, please like, subscribe, uh, share. We're building this channel slowly but surely. And no, Strap a Watch is not about me promoting to, you know, make straps. Uh, you know, that I do that. You know, I have a leather business and I focus on watch straps. And uh, boy, I've been flooded with orders, especially from you subscribers. But that's not what the channel is about. You know, I say it on just about every episode. At Strap Watch, I started this to help promote enthusiasm for the wearing of especially mechanical watches again. And that's my passion, you know, mechanical watches. I'm not a watch expert in any way, shape, or form. I am a watch enthusiast. And, uh, you know, I have a smaller, you know, collection, a uh, few nice pieces. And, yeah, I'm going to be growing my collection as time goes on. For any of you newer subscribers, my wife told me a couple months ago when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I get to purchase another Rolex watch. So, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So, Shell Cordovan, what is it? 
and uh, where does it come from and why is it so expensive and all those kinds of things so Shell Cordovan, I'll show you right here is a graphic of where it comes off of a horse. So think of right above the hips, the back hind legs and the hip area of the horse. And here's the actual about size that they come in. These are called chips. So that's a chip right there. So when I pr purchase a chip, you know, they come in varying sizes. It depends on the size of the hide and, and how everything came out. But uh, it takes six months to tan this leather. It is hand rubbed uh, with various waxes and oils for months and months by hand every day, day in, day out. Um, and they're ironed in a special machine. Just the whole process for a tannery to make this leather, it's really, it's unbelievable. I do have a couple pairs of Shell Cordovan shoes, and Shell Cordovan shoes, they start for, you know, good ones, um, there's there's Arden, Alan Edmonds, uh, a couple, few others that really make some top-notch Shell Cordovan shoes, but they start around $700 a pair, and, you know, so when I buy a chip, they're you know typically anywhere from oh high you know 100 180 190 dollars into the 200s 300s and up and Horween shell cordovan i've just recently contacted the chicago Horween tannery myself and just to see they're they're shut down because of you know the shutdown of the virus right now and i haven't heard back from them and I hopefully I do, and I can just start buying direct from them. You know, I gave them my information and, uh, you know, what I do. And, and and so hopefully I can start purchasing Shell Cordovan. But I'll tell you what, I am very pleased with this Japanese Shell Cordovan. I'm going to definitely get some other colors. Um, I've had a, another order for this blue and that's, that's why I ended up making this strap for myself. I already was making one for another gentleman. Actually, he's in Japan. And um, so I thought, well, let's kill two birds with one stone and just do two at a time. So I did mine and his really basically at the same time. Uh, he had a little different color stitching than my... He wanted he wanted blue, uh, navy blue stitching on his, so... And, you know, the gentleman, I don't know if you read his comment, he was saying, the guy who thought that uh, a deep blue would go good with this watch, he said, what about orange stitching as a contrast if you're really into it? And I, I almost did it. But I thought, nah, let's get more traditional because this way I can switch this strap out on any of my other blue dial watches, my Omega Seamaster, my Christopher Ward Trident GMT with the blue dial. Uh, unfortunately, it won't go on the uh, Grand Seiko of mine. I, I had made one of these with no lining for my Grand Seiko. Um, and, and I do wear that quite a bit. I, I really like that strap. It's very comfortable. I never made one like that before. But I wanted a, a more traditional strap. Uh, that that Grand Seiko's 19 millimeter lugs. So this is a 20 millimeter lug on on the Rolex Melgauss and those other watches I just mentioned. So they're interchangeable, and that's what's so cool about, especially quick release lug pins, is I always say it's kind of my motto that one watch can become multiple watches with various straps, and that's regardless if it's a rubber strap, a NATO strap, a bracelet, you know, leather straps, various kinds of leather straps, colors, you know, you can have one watch and change out your watch strap every day, and it's like it's a different watch. It's really cool, and I'll tell you what, I really love this Rolex Milgauss. It goes with absolutely everything except really wearing like a charcoal suit or a gray suit. I get it, I can get away with it with gray, especially if I'm wearing a blue shirt. But um, it's really not a suit and tie kind of Rolex. It's not. Um, that's you know that's my Grand Seiko and some of my other watches. 
uh, that I have and love. Uh, a more dress style of a watch. So, but I do. I just, I, I absolutely love it. It's just a fun watch to wear. And I wear it more than any of my other watches. I, I just do. You know, it's, it, it's been the most uh, expensive watch in my collection. I've had watches that cost more back in my younger days. But, uh, you know, since uh, starting my new company, oh, seven years ago almost, uh, that, that was one of the reasons after I was in business uh, with the new company for a year, that's when, um, and we had a, such a great first year, I, I bought the watch with some of the profits that I had made for myself on a disbursement. So here's the strap that I had. So this strap I actually made for my Christopher Ward GMT about a year ago. And when I made the tan shell cordovan in the last review episode of the Milgauss, and I had 50-50 blue, Egyptian blue stitching on one side and orange on the other, and some people just hated it. I loved it. I think it's really cool. But a week later, I switched it out and put the tan alligator on my Milgauss and that shell cordovan with the 50-50 split on my Christopher Ward, and it goes great on that watch because the uh, the international dial, the hand on that, is orange. It's a bright orange, so you know with the blue dial and the orange. And there's an orange second hand, the the, the thunderbolt, lightning bolt second hand on this. So that's why you know orange would go with this. But check this out. There's a, a real Rolex buckle that I had, and here's the the lining side that's calfskin. But you can see there's the quick release lug pins and my logo. But it turned out absolutely gorgeous. It really did. I absolutely love this strap, man. And the one for the fella in Japan turned out really cool. I mean, he's going to dig it. He didn't say what kind of watch, but anyways, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I had a lot of fun this week. I'm getting caught up on order, so any of you that have ordered... The products are on the way. I appreciate all of you. God bless you all. And until next time, keep on ticking.